true happiness. What is it that truly makes us happy inside and how can we make it happen? Stay tuned. Welcome to Choosing to Connect, the place to love your life by living from love. I'm Tal, I'm a social psychologist and a spiritual teacher. And I like to share with you the secrets of life, the rules of love, the rules of happiness, everything we really need to know to unlock the secrets and the treasures of life and to really experience all that it has to give. So what is it that can really, really make one happy in this life? So obviously we want to have all of our needs taken care of, right? We want to have the money and, and the house and like the shelter and all of those necessities taken care of so that we can you know, find time to take care of what truly makes us happy inside. And now what research really shows is that there are things that can give us pleasure, but only for a limited time. For example, if we have a nice meal at a restaurant, or if you know you, somebody has sex, or if you go shopping and buy something new, all of these pleasures, even though they're important and great, will only give us satisfaction for a very limited time until we forget about it and move on to the next thing. So what are the things that can really give us a deep sense of joy and happiness for a lengthier period of time and maybe even indefinitely? So all of the research really points to one, or maybe I could call it two things. So it's really the extent that we have good, healthy, positive relationships that will determine our long-term happiness, joy, and satisfaction. Now, it's not just about the quantity, but also the quality. How good are these relationships? How happy am I within them? And then the second part of it is my own self-development, meaning in life, and sense of purpose. And this is also obvious that if I have something that I'm looking forward to every day, that I know that I strive for, something that I'm expecting to experience, right? That is something that gives you joy, motivation for life, happiness, all that good stuff. And I think we all know it, that when you have a why, right? When you have a why to life, to your, even to your day, then you will find the how, then you will have that motivation. Then you also feel inspired to go about life. The worst thing for us is to go about life, not knowing why we're here, what it is that we want, not having higher goals for ourselves, setting them. So I really recommend just pull out a piece, a piece of paper, take a few minutes and just write this question at the top of the piece of paper. Why am I here? Why is this life worth living for me? What is it important to me to achieve in this life? And I hope this helps you really clarify what your goals are and what you want. And it might even show you that you don't really know. And that's also okay because it will open you up to discovering. Okay, when we have a question, when we're focused on a question, then we will also be able to attract and identify the answers. So as I was saying, true happiness comes from these two things, our positive relationships and our sense of meaning, purpose, and having motivation for life. Now, here's the last thing about this that makes it really interesting. We can combine these two elements together to create the ultimate happiness, enlightenment, love, and joy. Okay, when we realize that our higher purpose, that the greatest thing that we can fulfill about ourselves is really hidden within our connection to others, that's when we hit the jackpot. Because true happiness and joy really comes when we understand how we can serve and how we can connect to the whole and to other people. When a person finds their fulfillment, their spiritual fulfillment and fulfills their potential, they realize it was always in service to others. It was always by understanding how we could be a channel for other people, whether it's for the services you do on the corporeal levels or on the spiritual levels, but it's always one thing. So if you really want to be happy, you want to strive to evolve in your spiritual and uh, self-development potential, but remember that the most important thing is to always remember that the connection between us is where that fullest potential really is hiding. So I want to wish you the greatest happiness, joy, and well-being ever. I want to wish you happy relationships, 
and to have all your needs taken care of and to feel completely free to pursue your highest goals in life and your highest evolution. Uh, and I want to also wish for all of us to take all of these things that are happening recently in the world and remember that all of these stresses and fears and things that are happening that are not so pleasant are really there to help us do just what I talk about right now, point ourselves in the right direction. So thank you for being here. Please subscribe to the channel to hear about new videos that come out. Share this with anybody who needs it right now. And I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.